This is Mac Voices TV. Mac Voices TV is brought to you by St. Clair Software, the makers of Default Folder and History Hound. Visit them at stclairsoft.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV on the show floor at Macworld Conference and Expo. This time you're finding us in the North Hall in the How to booth, How to Software, speaking with Pierre Bernard of How to. Pierre, it's great to have you on Mac Voices TV. Thanks for uh, agreeing to talk to us. Hi, my pleasure. So let's talk about how to geo. This is one of those programs that uh, I think may be affected or and, and benefit from some of the keynote announcements we saw with iPhoto. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, the the new iPhoto is going to be great for us because the new iPhoto expects pictures to come with geo data, and that's exactly what we provide. Okay, now that's always a little challenging because most of the cameras right now do not have geo data built into them to tag the photos with. How do you go about accomplishing this? Well, most interestingly, the least expensive or the lower end cameras do have geo data, the phones, and the most expensive do. We work with the regular cameras by using GPS track loggers. So these devices you keep in your pocket and during the day, while you take your pictures, they uh, record where you have been and they create a track log of where you have been all day and when. And back at home, we take the track log out of the device, we bring it together with the picture and using the timestamp on the digital photos, we go on the track log and figure out where you have been at the moment you took your pictures. How sophisticated a process is that? I mean, it sounds, in some ways, it sounds like it should be very easy. Is, is getting the geotagging data in there worth the effort and, and having to buy the extra uh, hardware? To the user, it's very easy. To the user, it just comes together into one Howda Geo project and it just merges automatically. And there are many benefits to doing so. So one is for archival purposes. You would also do reverse geocoding like uh, iPhoto now does. So you would figure out a location name from the um, latitude longitude. And then later on you could search by location name. So you could go and search for all San Francisco photos. You could also, uh, with our software, create a Google Earth file and then you would, within Google Earth, see the track where you have been and along the track you would see the photos attached to it. You would see the photos in context. Okay, so how long a process is this? Let's say I've come, come in from a day of shooting and I want to upload my photos as quickly as possible. How long will it take me to geotag, say, 200 photos? Seconds. Seconds? Seconds. Should I show you? Please, show us. So, I'm going to start off an, uh, a fresh How That Geo project. I'm going to open my media browser. So here I have iPhoto. We integrate with iPhoto, Lightroom and Aperture. So on this machine I have iPhoto. I'm going to take my pictures out of iPhoto. I'm going to drag them into the How That Geo project. And then from my track logging device, I got a GPX track log file. So I'm going to load that track log into the same project. So here I open the track log file. And as I load it, it's going to match the timestamp on the track log with the timestamp on the digital pictures. And now for each picture, it has latitude longitude so now I can preview that so I see my pictures I see a map and for it so now you get to see where I took the pictures so here I was right across from the Museum of Modern Art and you get to see the picture of the Museum of Modern Art we also do reverse geocoding. 
So our software is going to fill in city, state and uh, country. So I'm going to get the information out of Google Maps. So it's going to go out and figure out where the pictures were taken. And it turns out these pictures were taken in San Francisco, California. And the other nice thing we do is Google Earth files. So within Google Earth, you get to see the track where you have been. And on the track, you see the balloons with your pictures in them. And we also do a Flickr upload. So on Flickr, they also show a map for geocoded photos. So you also get this balloon attached to the map. And the geocoding data you're providing is completely compatible with iPhoto or any other geo, uh, geotag aware software. Yes, we may write uh, geotags, so GPS tags, back to the image file. So these are standard EXIF XMP tags, which are understood by uh, many software products uh, or web services out there. So how much does all this cost to, to actually start accomplishing this? Well, our software, uh, How That Geo, is $30. Uh, TrackLogger is about $100, the cheapest ones. And if you already have a hiking device, it probably already does GPS track logging. And it's all wireless and easy. Yes. It's, you just plug it in when you get home at the end of the day, and it all comes together. That's perfect. That's perfect. Looks like a lot of fun to play with, and certainly something that's going to become increasingly useful. Hope so. What's the website for the folks who want to go and, uh, and aren't at the show and want to learn more about this? That's howda.com, H-O-U-D-A-H.com. That's great. Pierre, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks so much for the demo of How to Geo. My pleasure. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices TV at Macworld Conference and Expo in San Francisco. Look for more soon. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is brought to you by St. Clair Software, the makers of Default Folder and History Hound. Visit them at stclairsoft.com. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.